Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, aka Kingdom Cards, and today we are getting back at it with another Man Cave Memories. It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit since we've done a Man Cave Memories and thought, you know, hey, it's time to get back on it. You know, there's been a lot of interesting things that have been happening in the sports card industry over the last few months, but it's a little bit of a quiet period, you know, before the National, and thought it'd be fun to get one of these in. So today, we are covering one of my favorite things in my collection, and it's what you're seeing right in front of you here. It's made up of two things, uh, the photograph, the 8x10, and then of course, the signed baseball. So, we'll get to it with first the sports story, and then we will talk about the personal side of it as well. And again, I say this is one of my favorite things in my collection. There's so many things that I enjoy. I feel like everyone's like that, whether it's, you know, baseball cards, whether it's, you know, signed memorabilia. You're like, these are all my favorite. It's like trying to choose between a kid, right? You, you just can't. Um, you just can't do it. So the story behind this is you can see from the signature from Alex Gordon, if you haven't figured that out yet, surprise, it's Alex Gordon. Uh, this is his photo from the World Series Game 1 home run that he hit. And you can probably figure that out from the inscription. The story behind that, the Royals are in the 2015 World Series. It's Game 1 at home against the New York Mets. The Mets had incredible pitching in that series. And, you know, there was a lot of fear, I know, as a Royals fan going into that series with people like Matt Harvey, Noah Syndergaard, Stephen Matz, Jacob deGrom, right? You had all of those guys. And then, of course, they had a really good bullpen, and the anchor of that was their closer, Jarez Familia. So what had happened, um, the score was, I believe, tied at three in the top of the eighth, I believe, or... Um, top of the ninth, a little fuzzy on that. I think it was the top of the eighth. And Eric Hosmer, our first baseman at the time, uh, he he made an error and no. led to a run. And that was really uncharacteristic of the Royals. They had such good defense. In fact, if you want, just go on YouTube, look up the Royals' defensive plays in 2014, 2015. There was some incredible, incredible stuff that they were doing. But yeah, so he makes an error, the Royals are down, and Alex Gordon, bottom of the ninth, steps up to the plate. There was one out, Salvi, I believe hit in front of him. I think there was a ground out. Um, but Alex then jacked this home run, and man, he hit it to dead center field. I believe they think it was about a 450-foot home run. Absolutely slobber knocked it. It was it was crazy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't get flagged for that. Uh, for you know, funny funny word there. But anyway, uh, I'll, I'll promise I won't try and be too extra, guys. I promise I won't be too extra. Yeah. Yeah. It was an it was just a, a a great great home run, great moment in Royals history that sent it to extra innings, and then the Royals would win in the bottom of the fourteenth um, by who? Eric Cosmer hitting a game-winning sacrifice fly to right field and scoring, I believe it was Gerard Dyson. Gerard Dyson, I don't know if he got on base or if he got pinch run for I think he, there was, he came in as a pinch runner, I believe. But again, it's been a little bit since then. Uh, I think that is true because I think he stole second and then he stole third. Because uh, I remember his, his little bobbing and weaving moving he would do when he'd steal, steal a base. So... That's kind of the that's the the sports side of it. Now the personal side of it. So I was watching that game. A lot of special memories from that time. But um, I was watching the game with then my uh, fiance, now my wife, and we were watching the game. And there were so many late nights in fourteen and fifteen because the Royals always seem to play in extra innings and win. And um, I remember my dad and I. We're watching the game with the rest of the family and, and uh, my fiance, of course. And the home run was hit so hard and so well. Often, you know, if you're watching a baseball game, you can, you know, see the home run. You can you can kind of tell when somebody gets into it good. But he hit it so well to dead center, you really couldn't tell. 
and the ball just kept going and going and going, and we saw the center fielder turn around, and we're like, holy cow, he just he jacked it. Um, and it was cool just to hear the stadium on TV, you know, the roar, the electricity. I remember we were all jumping up and down, and you can kind of see in the photo, too, it's just iconic. In fact, I think at some point there will be a, you know, a, a statue at Kauffman with this exact pose, and you can see all the players jumping up. you got Eric Hosmer, actually, the guy that's um, pumping his fist right there. Uh, Jeremy Guthrie to the right of him, I think. It's kind of hard to see with the shadows, but um, the guy that's standing up right above Alex's finger, I believe that's um, uh, Terrence Gore. Terrence Gore celebrating. But, yeah, I actually we I went to bed in, I think, the bottom of the 13th because I was like, they're going to win. <laughs> I'm going to bed, and sure enough, they did. Um, how I obtained this is really cool. So the Royals have what's called the Urban Youth Academy, and it's in downtown Kansas City. It's actually near the 18th and Vine District, which has a huge cultural heritage to the black community. Uh, it's where a lot of Negro Leagues players would go after games. That's where the Jazz District was in Kansas City for many years. And in the 30s and 40s, especially the 30s, it was a very thriving place. So in that area, the Royals opened the Urban Youth Academy. Alex Gordon was a big donator to that. And in the past, there's been an event called Gloves for Kids, which the Royals do charity. It's through Ryan Lefevre, one of the announcers. It's his charity, and they raise money for bats and balls. And often the Royals would get together, and they'd have players sign things with you know the proceeds all going to charity. And Alex was one of them that year. And often you know they're trying to get through the line. They're trying to you know, get things done and um, actually was able to have him personalize this, which was super, super nice of Alex to do that. You know, he didn't have to take the time to personalize it, but it looks really, really phenomenal. And this was done in a paint pen. If you're wondering why it looks so good, it's done in a paint pen. Um, actually, then several years later, I was able to get this World Series ball signed by Alex Gordon as well after he retired. I believe he retired in 2020. I think it was because I remember, I think it was in the pandemic year and we couldn't celebrate with him at Kaufman and that really you know, frustrated a, a lot of Royals fans that we couldn't celebrate with Alex. But yeah, that's the, got to meet him then and just talk to him. Dude is still jacked. He's still ripped. If you ever saw him playing baseball, the guy took phenomenal care of his body and um, just a really good guy too. Actually had a friend said he saw him at a, a um, Chipotle not very far from uh, where I am in Overland Park, actually near, well, I won't say, I won't say, just because, you know, if he lives near there, I don't want him to get bothered by people, so anyway, saw him around town, let's just say, and it's cool to see a lot of players actually stay in Kansas City after their playing career, because it's, it's just a great place. And that'll do it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, Please like it, comment, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my Instagram or Facebook to keep track of all the crazy stuff I'm doing. Um, and and shoot, me a, shoot me a message, shoot me a comment. Let's me know what you guys are enjoying and liking and encourages me to make more of it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Blessings.